Um, Mike, we'll, we'll start with you with some of the um, you know, infrastructure. Can you explain what mining is, staking and securing the network, just top level? Uh, no. No, <laughs> we don't have enough time. So uh, I went down the uh, Bitcoin rabbit hole about six and a half years ago, and it reminded me of the start of the Internet. So I was in college back in the early 90s when the Internet came out, and I realized that this tech solves problems that can't be solved any other way. And it really is about having the ability to transfer value electronically without any middlemen. And that concept really didn't exist before the Bitcoin white paper. And the Bitcoin white paper laid out a set of rules, basically by which everybody that participates in the ecosystem agrees to. And uh, one of the things I love about Bitcoin is the fact that uh, you, have to, you have to opt into it, right? So most of the people here probably aren't opted into the Bitcoin mining or Bitcoin today. Someday they will, uh, but you have to opt in. And really the only way to opt in is um, doing your own research. So you have to spend the time to learn how it works. And when you start talking about the security layer of Bitcoin, there are multiple layers to the security, and one of which is Bitcoin mining. So people say, ah, oh, Bitcoin, it's, you, know, you just got to believe in it. It's not what's it really backed by. It's backed by 4 million plus machines spread out throughout the entire world, about 12 gigawatts worth of electricity, over uh, $20 billion invested in mining. Uh, it's an enormous, enormous industry, and uh, it's continuing to evolve. Um, so the miners basically, the machines run an algorithm, and I like to, in layman's terms, say they secure the network. Same thing on the nodes. You run a node in the cloud, and the, you stake your, your token on that node, and you get paid for that, for staking your token. And that's the simplest way of thinking about it. Um, big industry. Today, there's 20-plus publicly traded miners. Uh, I don't know, they represent eight, $8 billion worth of uh, market cap. Um, and it's, we're just getting started, right? So four years ago, if you got into mining, if you spent $5 million, you were one of the biggest miners in the world. This last cycle, we spent $500 million to be a big miner. In this next cycle, it's going to be um, probably starting with a B. And, and where are we right now in the cycle? So obviously we've seen Bitcoin go up to 70,000. It went back down to what, 14, 15,000. Now we're back. Good seen about 35,000. Yeah, I don't. Where do we sit today? It's tough to be in this industry and watch the price every day, right? Because it is <laughs> up and down, up and down. Um, Bitcoin mining is a four-year cycle. Um, I think of, of Bitcoin as a commodity. There's good times to invest and bad times to invest. Um, we are at the beginning of the next four-year cycle. So it um, the halving is 170 days away, um, where today, you know, every 10 minutes, 6.25 Bitcoins introduced to the world. That's about a 1.8% inflation rate. That's about 900 Bitcoin a day. That's it. There's 900 new Bitcoin every day produced. And at the end of April, it's going to be cut to 450 Bitcoin a day. And the cycle will repeat every four years. Um, and those rules are programmed in. They can't be changed. There's no, like, secret committee that's deciding what we're going to, how much oil we're going to produce next month. Um, it's already, it's all laid out. It's, it's an open system, and we all agree to the rules. Um, so we're at the beginning of the cycle, and this is the best time to invest. Okay. And you mentioned there's 20 public Bitcoin miners, right? Like, What's the correlation between Bitcoin and, you know, the, the equity performance of those miners? They're mining the cycle and, and Bitcoin price more, more generally. Yeah, so today people, I think, use Bitcoin miners as a proxy to Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, that will probably change as we get an ETF. Um, but I think of Bitcoin miners just like gold miners, right? Like, why do you buy gold miners? Um, I think Bitcoin mining over the long term becomes a very boring industry. You expect a certain rate of return on a Bitcoin miner. Um, 
And, uh, and I think that's going to happen over the next kind of four years as, as this industry matures. I'm going to jump in on that one. Like in the last cycle, six months before the halving, there were two publicly traded Bitcoin miners. And now there's 14 in, in the U.S. at least. And the, the complexion of their balance sheets is completely different, right? Most of them went bankrupt, had too much debt and had to restructure and have emerged from bankruptcy. But they have a, a wide dispersion in, their, in the amount of debt they have. And if you look at what stocks have performed this year, it's been the good balance sheet Bitcoin miners, right? Because come March, when that halving happens, a lot of the industry will not be making money. And if you're stuck with this large debt servicing, uh, you, you might be struggling. So like, that's kind of how we're looking at it is at this point in the cycle, it's the, it's the beginning of the bull market. Next year should be better. But since you never know for sure, the best re risk reward is to stick the ones that don't have any debt, right? That was the whole problem with all the bankruptcies of 2022 was you don't borrow against your Bitcoin. That's how you go bankrupt.